Hey everyone, it's Maureen. I'm here to show two recent dolls that have been completed. I haven't posted in quite some time because there's been uh, a lot going on in my personal life. Um, so because of that, that basically looks like I'll end up uploading maybe once a month at this point until things settle down a little bit. Just an FYI for, for those who, you know, are looking for a twice weekly upload or probably more like looking at a monthly upload. But in the meantime, when I do manage to have some time, I've been able to work on some dolls. If you've been following my Instagram, you would have been seeing progress on this lovely lady back here, which is more so supposed to be a representation of a English 1560s, but her skirt probably looks a little bit later in this case. 1560s. I do have some puffs that I need to create on the shoulders for the shoulder rolls of the 1560s and a pearl necklace for her yet. So there is a little bit yet to do, but it's small details. So this one is supposed to be more uh, 1550, 1560 for France. So we have more of a French blue with a lot of the gold, but it's a lighter gold. It's less uh, brassy compared to the gold in the back there. And uh, we also will end up doing a uh, pearl necklace on the bodice of this dress as well, because they're very similarly, they were worn very similarly between England and France. And I had a little extra of the trim, so she has a high bun underneath. So I just put that right there for now. Um, I would say veils would be a good option. So I am looking for like veil weight handkerchiefs or something in a silk that would be kind of nice. So there's that. Now these are the two you've already seen. So we have basically new friends on the other side. And then we have these two and I'm currently working on two more. So the next two are going to be Spanish and German. So these are my two Italians. So we have more of like a uh, Italian 1550-1560 outfit here with her. She's more uh, Milan 1490, so on a particular, uh, after a particular image from a portrait. And I have to add this hook to the top of this yet. Yeah, it's only pinned in, but I have to sew it in yet. So there's a little detail that was added there. She has her necklace underneath here. So she has her necklace, but everybody else needs necklaces. So there's going to be a necklace day coming up where I'll just be beading doll necklaces. Um, but I have more pearls of this particular size in that case there. I get them from Michael's. They're the smallest pearls, uh, freshwater pearls that they sell. And ideally they're perfect with seed beads and other combinations. So that's what I like to use for, for the pearls in that case. There are plastic varieties that are that small, but they tend the um, they tend to peel the pearlescent paint off of the top of those, unfortunately. So that does make things a little bit tricky when using the plastic ones for uh, these being real ones. They're actually quite light. Um, so the plastic ones you know, you, I'd rather use these than plastic ones if possible. I haven't found any glass varieties, but I'm sure there are some out there, but the glass tends to be heavier than the freshwater pearl, so you might as well use the freshwater pearl. But I will post more progress when I finish the other two dolls at this point. They're basically right now, all the pattern pieces are cut and uh, ironed and flipped and yeah, I sacked them out, so then um, all of them are of course closed off. So basically what I'm doing is sewing trim. So you will see more of this trim in the next doll. And the German one is gonna be a little bit different. There'll be some gold trim with it, but I'm gonna probably
probably just use either braided or wavy gold trim with that particular one. I'm still working out the details on it, but it's going to be black, gold, and orange are the color combinations for the German one. The uh, Spanish one is going to be a green velvet in this case, so I'm going to try to do a high necked instead of it having a partlet like this. There's another ruff like this on the other doll. So I'm gonna fill this in with more velvet and have it just come up underneath the ruff of the collar. So that's the update for the dolls and the update for the channel at this particular time. If you have any questions, of course, you can leave them in the comments. You can also contact me on Instagram as well as I have a blog, Tudorosities, at Blogspot, basically. So if you Google it, you'll be able to find it. It's also linked in the About section on this channel. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing. I normally upload every other Friday, but we're changing over to once monthly, so make sure to hit the subscribe button and select all so when so YouTube will notify you when I upload next but yeah I have to say they're really nifty and they make a very fascinating decor item and I hope to see you all in my next video and I hope you have a great day bye bye